Hello, and welcome to A Head Full of Tales. And today's story is about a little mouse and a lion. Now, the little mouse was just going about his own business when suddenly a huge lion drunk jumped out in front of him. Rawr, roared the lion. I'm going to eat you up for my tea. Rawr. The little mouse shivered. Ooh, ooh, please don't eat me. Oh, I'm afraid I'm, I'm only a little mouse. Rawr. Why should I let you go? Well, um, if you let me go, one day I will help you in return. You what? <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> Arr, you help me. How could you help me? The king of the lions. The king of the animal kingdom. You help me. Oh, that's a laugh. <laughs> In fact, that's so funny, little mouse. I will let you go. You're much, not much of a dinner anyway. <laughs> and with that, his big paw tapped the little mouse on the top of the head with a little ruffle of its hair. And the mouse scurried away. Phew! Now, many years passed. And then the uh, lion was roaring and walking through the forest. Rawr! scaring everything around him, making sure he knew and everybody else knew that he was the king of the jungle. Roar! Now, what he didn't know, that there were men around. And men can be quite nasty and quite clever and quite cunning to when it comes to wildlife. So, while he was walking in the jungle, Suddenly, he sort of saw a big pile of leaves. Oh, leaves. I love playing in leaves. And he made to make a big leap and he jumped in the big pile of leaves and he was just about to kick the leaves up in the air and sort of play and roll around when suddenly a big net scooped up into the air and there was the lion trapped in a big net. Rawr! Rawr! Let me out, said the lion. How dare you? I'm the king of the animals. How dare you put me in this net? Then men came along and they tied rope around the net and they pied it nice and tight and pulled it tight. Oh, and then they lowered him down from the tree and left him there. <laughs> That'll teach you, you scary cat. We'll be back, and then we'll take you to the, uh, then we'll take you to the zoo, and you won't be able to wander around the jungle anymore. Now the big lion needed a lot of space. You can't be a lion in a zoo. <laughs> anyway, he was trapped, and there was nothing he could do. But luckily, who should come along but that little mouse? Squeak, squeak. Hello. <laughs> oh. oh, it's you. Oh, go laugh if you want, said the lion. Why should I laugh, said the little mouse. I'm here to pay my duty. And he whistled. <whistles> and a hundred little mice came from everywhere. Oh, all right then, chaps. Start eating. Eat me. Don't you dare eat me. I'm the king of the jungle. Don't be silly. We're not going to eat you. Eat the ropes, lads. That's it. And all the mice nibbled. And the rope snapped and the netting was gone and the lion was once again three. Rawr, said the lion. Thank you, little mice. It doesn't matter how big you are. We could all help each other, he thought, as he strolled back into the jungle. Enjoy the rest of your day, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.